How is it going today? Lord, this kingdom. My name is Dwayne. My name's Jazz. We're Dwayne and Jazz today. We have Brave Will and this living ball of spikes. Oh boy. And we have a living ball of energy right by my foot. Right okay. by our foot. By, if you guys have. A, yeah, if you guys have any like tips. To, with a brand new like, puppy. A, a new two, two month old Eight puppy. weeks. That is eight weeks. Yeah, same thing. Stop and, biting my ankles, and my hands. Stop biting our hands. And our ankles, and our feet, toes. and toes. That's all. We, I don't, I never wore socks in the house until now, because he mm. likes to go after my feet especially. Yeah, them toes. Whenever I go walk to go cook, he's hopping around trying to eat my toes like it's a game, and I'm right. trying to stop. We're trying to figure it this out. This is on day what four? This is day four. Saturday, day four. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four. Four. So we're it's, we're still getting. It's still happening. Yeah, so. we're gonna figure it out. But anyway, guys. Um, I was that one. Oh, if you have nerds, just follow us on all social media and the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. Was that if you guys see me looking over here, I'm just checking on Rocky. Are you ready to meet one of the most bizarre creatures to call Australia home? Let me give you a hint. Mm. Oh, what you're no. about to see. I don't think so. It has no teeth. Mm. It has hair. No it has teeth. No teeth. It also lays eggs. Any guesses? If you don't know what it is, stay tuned. They don't have teeth. Enter How do they eat? Closure. No gloves. I'm gonna try to do this without gloves. Look how it just burrowed itself in the ground. That's not a porcupine, is it? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's drinking water. Wow. Huh. No. Mm -hmm. Black Widow. Mm. Famously known for its iconic mix of unique don't animal so. species. Many of which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Oh, koala bear. Some of them, like the kangaroo, the kangaroo, kangaroo are strong. I don't mess with that. And it's not uncommon in the least to see them quickly hopping across the outback. Oh, gotta go to, gotta go to Australia. Recognizable reptiles. When you Alligator. think Australia, you definitely think about crocodiles. However, to my surprise, they mm. oh hell, than you may think. <laughs> As both the freshwater and saltwater varieties inhabit mainly the northern territory. But what about the animals that aren't considered icons? The ones who are seldom seen due to their elusive nature, mm -hmm. and who in many cases are also considered to be nature's oddities. That's one thing Jasmine said. I'm not going to Australia for that. <laughs> the, the big, the big well, insect? Uh -uh. A small town just south of Townsville in North Queensland. Proudly listed as one of Australia's top ecotourism attractions, this family-owned and operated establishment oh, is family home to over 50 okay. native species, including what I consider to be the continent's undisputed champion when it comes to the title of most bizarre. So if you that? I don't even see no eyes. Yeah, you need to see the face. Is that the face? Or is that the butt? Tail, yeah. The keepers have left the door slightly ajar. Let's go inside, be extra quiet, and see if we can find it. Okay. So it's in there somewhere. You just gotta look. Yeah, you gotta find it. He like you're on your own right. camera. Come here, come here, come here. You have to be careful where you step when you're in this enclosure. Because look at that. Oh Almost my like Lord. a biological landmine. You may think that this is some sort of cacti, but that is in fact an echidna. It looks echidna. Like echidna. And it is buried down in the dirt. You guys want to see So it. not a, exactly a porcupine. Nah, no, that's, that's about it. Kind of looks like a sea urchin, right? That's it. So that's it. It's just a ball of spikes. A ball of spikes. Looks like porcupine quills. Yeah. Um, and it's not something you want to come in and sit down and have a picnic on. Mm -hmm. so that thing looks so dangerous. Right next to oh, it. Cool. now it's really starting uh -oh. to move. He Maybe knows like, you're right there. What are you doing there? Now, actually, it's a lot bigger than that. It is buried down in the dirt. And what we're seeing right here. Is an incredible defensive pose. So this he can sleep, but like if anybody comes to sleep when it comes to digging, and all it needs to do is sense something dangerous in its environment, like a dingo, and they will mm -hmm. immediately use their claws and their powerful legs to dig down into a little burrow like that and erect these spines Ooh. up in the air. And it's very tough to eat something that is covered in spines. Like right. Will those come off into your fingers? No, its quills do not release from its body like oh. that of a porcupine. In fact, mm. they're not related to porcupines at all. Really? I know you guys really want to see this creature. And to do that, I'm going to have to dig it up. And I no use gloves. gloves? I'm trying to do this oh, okay. Gloves no gloves. Without getting spiked. Now, this man likes spikes. Spikes are non venomous, but if I'm spiked by them, it is going to cause some irritation and it's going to be very itchy. Are so they sharp? Sure? They're razor sharp. Here, bring your hand in here and just kind of <laughs> prop down. He's on like, yeah, they're sharp. It's like a pincushion, right? Ah. Yeah. Ooh, and like every time you touch it, it moves. 
And even now, that. imagine if you were a dingo and you come into the environment to sniff Try this. Try to, ooh. Even that little movement can give you a good poke right in the nose. Yeah. yeah. Until they kind of lay down, and when it budges, they get, like, mm -hmm. really stiff. Yep, they can lay flat, and then they can also be oh. right like that. So Every it's time it's moving, it's down. Well, you sure you want to do this? Well, yeah, you guys want to see them close, right? Sure. Yeah. I want to see it, but only if you're willing. He's like, are yeah. you ready? Well, let me see. My tactic here is going to be to try to get to its underside. Now, their bellies are much softer than the top mm, side. So okay. if I can get my hand sort of underneath it, I can pull it huh. up. And what it's going to do is curl up into a ball. Man. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, here comes the face. Is that Where? Oh. Where? Where? No, that's the rump end. Okay, that's the back end. Incredibly strong. Here we go. Oh my god! I got you, I got you. Got it. It's there like a big, it's a ball of spikes. Can you see its face on that side? Yeah. There's a little face right there. Where? Sit down here, I'm gonna plop it on my lap. This is a dangerous little maneuver, but I want to hold it like Where? Well, I like this. Aye, aye. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That is just like a sea urchin. That the hand. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. I think I see the face right there. Okay. Yeah. You know what that animal reminds me of? What's that? That video game he used to play. My favorite video game? Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. And actually, what's really <laughs> cool about the echidna is that the echidna was a character in the Sonic series. If you guys really? remember Knuckles, the red one, oh. and those boxing gloves, he was actually an echidna based off of this animal. And look at that cute little face. He knows you the way. You see that elongated nose? <laughs> that is specialized for catching I didn't know insects. that's Knuckles. They're insectivores. Me either, ew. Yeah. barely feed on We're like animals. Knuckles. They specialize in ants <laughs> and termites. And similar to an anteater, they don't have teeth. Wow. But they have a long, tongue. sticky tongue. They use that tongue to kind of feel around inside ew. the body logs underneath the You're like the carrying the platypus, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In termite and ant nests, what they will do is just kind of suck those creatures up into their mouths and grind them up against the roof of their mouth, mm. and then they have a meal. Mm. Okay. Hi, bud. Oh, you're so cute and dirty. Look at that little <laughs> foot. Look at those paw pads. Yeah. And they feel just like latex. And look at that big claw up front. It's like a shovel. How's this not hurt him how the holding it? Like very I have no the idea. These are the He's going to do a lot, though. So. See how stout they are? It probably oh, does so hurt, baby. So the little pads mm -hmm. feel like latex. And the front feet, you actually can't see the front feet really well, but they kind of look like the foot of a mole. Yeah, it's like they're digging animals, like the combination mm -hmm. of so many different creatures. And I find that that seems to be the case with many of the animals here in Australia. They're like this weird mix of all these different creatures that we're used to seeing in the United States. It's because of evolution. Mm -hmm. it's well. Probably because of evolution, because all the mm -hmm. animals they got to deal with Australia, you yeah. got to evolve to defend yourself. A little musky. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they secrete any sort of musk or if that's just from the dirt that it's been burying around it. Now, do they shed their clothes? Uh, yes, they can shed their quills just like hair, and they do actually have hair. Little coarse, bristly oh, hairs in between uh -oh. all of these spines, right and their skin is incredibly leathery. Now, other than the platypus, this is the only mammal that lays eggs. And the female mm. will actually carry the egg inside of her for several months, and then when she lays it, it takes about 10 days for it to hatch. So bizarre, a mammal that lays eggs. Mm. How many eggs do they lay once? Just a single egg. That's it. One egg is all. I thought the definition of mammals were those that like didn't lay eggs. That's what I thought. It is, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Watch this. You guys want to see it dig into the ground? Mm -hmm. sure. well, watch I think you're right. Able to throw it down. Watch this. But I mean, this one does, so apparently that's not true. <laughs> and certain yeah. disturbance in the environment. Look at that, they actually push the dirt going out in. into the sides. Wow. And those stout little legs and claws allow them to do that. So they don't necessarily dig down forward to protect themselves. They dig straight down yeah. so that then they can create that pin cushion defense. It's like, uh-uh, I don't like what's going on. Mm -hmm. you. I mean, any sort of environment that's made of sticks and leaves and dirt, and this thing is going to blend in perfectly. Now look at that, it's already buried mm -hmm. back down. All right, let me see if I can... Get him back up. He's like, nope. Back down so he's going up. down. Really think about that. He's going okay. down again. They are so, like, this is me trying to lift the echidna out from under the ground. And it is wow. locked. He's fighting place. back. They he's can like, imagine no. if it nestled itself up against a log or in between some rocks. It'd be absolutely impossible for mm -hmm. a predator to dislodge it. All right, let's see if we can bring the echidna back up from under the dirt. Come here, buddy. Oh, was mm. so oh, was that him? I think it was him growling. There's his face. There's a little nose. <laughs> his little face is cute, but it's like covered in dirt. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? That's really cool. You want to, uh, you want to pet its back? 
kind of want to try to hold it. Mm. Oh, to hold it. I don't think so. Think it's okay. Uh, yeah. You just gotta get it set down your camera real quick. All right. Just be really, really gentle. I was told if I keep my hands flat. Yeah, actually, if you, if you put your hands flat, I can kind of lay it oh, on okay. like that, and then kind of feel for the belly. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's got me. Got it. Oh, goodness. They're spiky, right? Oh, it's super spiky. Hi. That's pretty cool. Now, what most people probably don't know is that Knuckles was your favorite Sonic the Hedgehog character, right? Was. Knuckles was lit. Knuckles was lit. Not Shadow. Really soft Shadow was lit earlier. Shadow was my favorite. You can have a really then soft belly, I guess, if you have then back it was and hair and spines like this guy. Ah. Tails was my least favorite. I, felt, I found Tails very annoying. Tails is like a navigator. Tails is annoying to me. Mm. He has a strong grip. Yeah, they really do. Quite the those, handshake. Those little stubby feet really can grab onto you. It's really warmed up. Yeah. This one, I feel like we're pretty comfortable together. He's holding it in his arm. Too bad. Mm-mm. He's just hanging out. You know, I found out what that mm -mm. Uh, kid's name is. You want to know? Yeah, what? what's his name? Spike. Spike. Of course, that, that, uh, that, that, that makes sense. For the echidna like this. Well, this was pretty cool. Getting up close with one of the only monotremes that's here in Australia, the echidna. Mm. I'm Kylie Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. Did one of them things fall off? We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, just mm -hmm. back down yeah, to the dirt. Yeah, it looks like it. Look like it. Let it go yes. back in the dirt. Oh, He's like, let me go yeah. back. Echidnas truly rank as being one of the planet's most uniquely bizarre animals. And while their spike-covered bodies may give them an outwardly aggressive-looking appearance, mm -hmm. yes. these ambling little They're pretty gentle. I thought they yeah, were as super gentle. as it gets. If you ever encounter one of these egg-laying mammals in the wild, do not attempt to pick it up. Trust me when I say, it hurts. you will regret those spines. Mm -hmm. However, if you simply admire it from a respectful distance, I promise that an encounter with an echidna is something you will never forget. But yeah, I, I, I didn't even... I learned something new today. Because I didn't even know that was I, Knuckles. I right. didn't know what he was an echidna. I didn't, so know, yeah. I didn't know what he was. I, I didn't know this was a hedgehog. I, 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 yeah, I knew okay, that, like... Okay, like, with spook okay. spikes on his hand. So, like, we knew that Sonic was a hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Tails was, like, a fox with right. two tails. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't know... And Shadow was, of course, a hedgehog. hedgehog, too. But I didn't know what Knuckles was. So now I know Knuckles is an echidna. Mm-hmm. But wow. why are they... Hmm. What? Why do they make knuckles knuckles? Because the spikes on his knuckles. You truly really trying to sit here yeah. and think. Anyway, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to relate. I'm trying to relate anyway. to how they made that character. They would. They would have had to base the character off of the echidna for some reason. That's what I'm saying. Like Sonic is based off of the hedgehog because he's fat. He wouldn't look cool if he had spikes all over his back. He would body. have looked cool. I think so. Okay. You don't think spikes look cool? Not all over, depending on how they did it, all over his body. They could have put some on his back. And look at his face. You think he would look cool with that face? Not with that right, face. Right, it exactly. Made it but I'm exactly. Saying. Anyway, you guys. Keep the face the same. I'm just saying, add some spikes on the back. Okay. Anyway. That's all I'm anyway, loyalists, please comment. Subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. Share some more juices.